Hey guys, welcome to another week of Whistle Stop Wednesday videos. This week's featured engine is the Lionel Legacy ES44AC Monongahela from the Pittsburgh area out there where the three rivers meet. And this is one cool engine. It came out in, I think it was 2012 Volume 2, uh, because 2012 Volume 1 had all the, uh, the real cool stuff in there with the uh, lights and everything else that the ES uh, Evos had it. And uh, this is a, another one of the great engines that Lionel made back then. I still think that in 2012, it was probably one of the best uh, uh, catalogs that came out. And you could uh, argue that, but uh, to me, I think it was because they had all kinds of neat stuff that came out back then. Okay, but this thing, if I could get around the front of it, is your Monongahela ES44AC oscillating ditch lights in the front. Has some nice detail looks right there in the front of it. This actually turns your footsteps in that right in here for the coupler in the front there. Um, really nice uh, LED lights in the front of it. Okay, number boards and the headlight. Some nice uh, um, detail work on the top. You can see that. You can see all the hooks and things like that that go back in there. Pretty good smoke unit. And here, like all the ES44s, is where your switches are. And your volume pot and the motor. And it's nice. This is a lot better than the uh, S or SD70s because there's little magnets that fit on there. You don't have to wiggle it down and through there. There is um, right here your fans. Okay, on the die cast ones, they will spin, but on these plastic ones, they don't. Has a good backup light there on it. And again, uh, nice step work right in there. Uh, some nice details here. And here is a uh, some of the stuff that I got at York, and I did follow up and picked up a couple more of these uh, tank cars. Okay. And these are the Sherman tanks, the M4s, used in World War II. You can see has the 50 cal in the back there, pretty cool. Has the uh, uh, cannons in the front. I think they were uh, uh, 76 millimeter. It could have been 75 millimeter. I don't know. But they are cool. And, of course, Pensy has the wood decks on it. Has the chocks in the front and in the rear. Okay, and here's another set right in there, exactly like it. Okay, and I'll go right down the line here. And then it came, and I got these too. Because in World War II, you're looking at them and you're saying, man, that's a big, long cannon in the front of that thing. And you could see that it is. And what they did toward the end of World War II, I think it was 1944, they came up with the M1s. And they needed these to pierce uh, the Tiger tanks. And uh, before that, uh, uh, they were just, uh, the, the M4s had medium armament, and they were just getting blown up like crazy from the Tigers. So they came up with these, and these guys were able to uh, take out a lot of Tigers back then. All right, and here's another one, okay, of the M4s. And more of the M4s back there. And then those guys need some beer cars. So we got some beer cars in the back there. Because all tankers really work up a thirst when they're inside there. But you can see how cool these things are. Has machine guns on it. You know, the turret does swing around. And there's a better view of the turret right there like that. With the, the long uh, barrel on there. Okay. And they have 50 cows on top there too. 
but they are cool. I'm thinking about getting maybe another one of these uh, M1s. They're pretty darn neat. And whoop, I'm getting a little bit of too much ado there, guys. So sorry about that. So without any further ado, let's start this puppy up and see what it just sounds like. This is a dispatcher. Do you copy? Copy that. Read your fine. Over. Okay, start her up. Stand by for track orders. Roger that. Holding for your signal. Out. All right. We'll put it on. I'll go with medium again. Pretty good smoke unit. Here's the crew talk. My handbrakes are knocked off, dispatcher. Can I get a green light? Over. Roger that. Take the green. Over. Roger that. Cleared outbound. Out. And here's a uh, whistle or horn. <laughs> Only one. And the bell. And it does have the ground light. Let me see if I get there. I'll put the shadow in there from the light so you guys could see it. And let's get it moving. This will go out at about step number 25. And there it goes. It's out. There's the smoke unit, guys. It does have RPM levels. That'll make it sound a lot cooler. And here comes the tanks. I got six of them, guys. I love those M1s, though. They're really cool. And there you go, guys. There's the beer cars coming around. And we have the Monongahela uh, side caboose there. Side window caboose. Made by Lionel. Pretty nice. I, write, I like that one. It's really cool. When it comes around again, I'll slow it down and we'll see how it looks. And it did go over the sensor track and you heard that. You heard the shave and the haircut, which is pretty darn cool too. And there's the Western Maryland, guys. We had that last week. I'm still playing with that one. Running really good along with the Katie over there. And let's bring it out of the tunnel. Oscillating ditch lights in the front. There's the smoke unit going. Pretty cool though, pretty cool. Nice smoke unit. It's only on medium, guys. I don't want to smoke out the wife. And let's put it in reverse. Comes back on. Nice. And we'll bring it up again. So I could show you guys. There's those tanks. And there's your Lionel set of beer cars. And here is the Lionel caboose, side window caboose. Pretty nice, has some detail work on the inside. You could see there is a guy in there, okay? Has a couple of seats right in the back there. They did a real nice job on this one right in here. This is a smoking caboose, but I don't have the smoke on, on it. So, sorry about that, guys. But bring it around again. Just went over the sensor track. Kind of like that. Nice engine, like all these ES44s. Great lights on it, great sound system on it, good smoke unit. I'm happy with it. And I like the color on this one. This has that gray 
and uh, the Big M, which reminds me of Mansfield State College, where I went to school. That's why I like the Big M on there. And the gray and white is really, really cool. Okay, guys, this is the shutdown sequence. That's it for us today, dispatcher. Signing off. Out. And that's it. There you go, guys. From 2012, the Monongahela ES44AC Heritage Unit. Okay, guys, coming from Millersburg, where I'm still turkeyless. I might have to go to uh, Wise Markets and uh, get a turkey or go down and see Kyle at the garage. He smokes them up pretty darn good. But uh, last week I saw 10 hens, still a chick magnet. This week so far I saw two hens on Monday. I saw a turkey. It might have been a Jake. I only saw him for about a second. He was only 20 yards away. He gave me the slip. I don't know which way he went, but that's hunting. All right, guys, I'll be at it tomorrow again. So, from Millersburg, where it was a breezy 74 degrees, out. <laughs>